वेलकम टू माई व्यूज इन न्यूज थ्री न्यूज स्टोरीज फर्स्ट वन इज अबाउट एन इथियोपियन जर्नलिस्ट हु रिमेन इन प्रेजेंट फॉर अराउंड सिक्स मंथ्स लास्ट ईयर टूडे ही वॉज एक्विटेड एंड ही थैंक द जुडिशियल सिस्टम दो क्वेश्चन शुड बी आस्ट वाई वॉज ही कैप्ट इन प्रेजेंट फॉर सिक्स मंथ्स Secondly, viewers, it seems that banking has once again come to a halt in the Tigray region of Ethiopia, where banking resumed last year after Pretoria deal. But uh, uh, we have been seeing uh, suspensions in the banking services being delivered in Tigray. And third, viewers, on Adwa victory day, on the second of March, we saw unrest in Addis Ababa when at Manilik Square there was confrontation between security forces and people. Uh, and today, Ethiopian government, uh, Addis Ababa police, shared uh, numbers. How many were arrested regarding uh, incidents which happened on Adwa victory day? Uh, government today shared numbers so firstly viewers uh, Tamasgan Dasalen is an Ethiopian journalist editor of Fethi weekly magazine for years he has been a victim of uh, state action when TPLF was in power in the form of EPRDF, we saw him imprisoned uh, several times, I think. PM Abi's government arrested him as well. Uh, some call him uh, a staunch supporter of Amhara nationalism, that he works for Amhara interests. Last year in May, he was arrested. Uh, then a court granted bail, but a higher court uh, overturned bail order. He remained in prison for around six months, for around 170 days, he remained in prison. I think it was November last year when he was released from prison. And he was arrested in May, I think. And a case was filed against him. Prosecutors accused him of disclosing military secrets. Uh, hearing went on and today a court acquitted him of the charges. Uh, when Tamaskan Daslin was in prison, international journalist bodies called for his release. Ethiopian state media, Ethiopian government uh, projected him as a traitor, as a supporter of uh, enemies of uh, Ethiopia, but today has been acquitted of all charges. And uh, Tamaskan Dasalen today thanked Ethiopian judicial system that he was able to get relief, that he had been acquitted. Now, question viewers is, who will be held accountable for six month long imprisonment of Damascus Tassel? There is no judicial system in Ethiopia. Because if a man is held in prison uh, without any uh, charges which can be proved uh, and for six months he is in prison, it means there is lack of accountability. Judicial system is not working apart from law enforcement agencies uh, actions. Law enforcement agencies in Ethiopia don't follow any rules, any laws. They just follow orders of senior officers, of top Ethiopian government officials. That is how they operate. They are above and beyond law. They cannot be held accountable. Now, those who arrested him, those who filed a case against him, obviously people from government, they should be held accountable. Otherwise, we cannot say that the uh, Mascan Dasselin has been given relief. No relief. Six months of his life wasted and no one is being held accountable. Secondly, viewers, banking operations in Tigray are again coming to a halt. We know that banking service resumed in Tigray 
uh, weeks after the signing of Pretoria deal. Pretoria deal was signed in November last year. I think banking resumed this year. Though we have seen uh, restrictions on uh, withdrawal of cash. People cannot withdraw uh, money exceeding certain limits. And a few weeks ago, there was shortage of cash. Then we saw a meeting between PM RB and TPLF leaders. Uh, Gatachu was there. I think Varadev was there too. And PM RB announced delivery of cash to Tegarai. It happened and uh, banking service uh, resumed. Restrictions on withdrawal were a little relaxed. But uh, now reportedly, once again, banking service is coming to a halt. Today, we heard from Macale and from Shere and from other areas where banking services resumed that people are not able to withdraw money. Not only is there shortage of cash, but other services are also being restricted uh, and closed. The Gadai government is largely silent, no statement, Ethiopian government as well. Is this suspension temporary uh, and uh, delivery of cash uh, could be uh, uh, under process? Or is it linked to wider issues between TPLF and Ethiopian Falgan? Because TPLF has failed to create consensus in Tigray for the formation of interim government. Opposition is boycotting the process adopted by the TPLF for formation of interim government. Uh, and some military commanders too. The uh, federal government is silent, but federal government can use these leverages, banking service, provision of aid, etc., to put pressure upon Tipura Tigra regional government. We'll have to wait and see the reason behind suspension of banking service in Tigra. Let's hope the suspension of banking is temporary, it's not permanent. Uh, thirdly, viewers, we know that on Adva Victory Day, on the 2nd of March uh, this month, there was unrest in Addis Ababa, Ethiopian capital. Ethiopian government uh, shifted Adva Victory Day celebrations from Minilik Square, Piazza Square to Mescal Square. But thousands arrived at Minilik Square. Uh, where there was confrontation between security forces and, and participants, the police fired tear gas. St. George Church, situated at Menlik Square, was uh, affected to people inside the church. Uh, they were injured, some went unconscious. We saw a statement from Orthodox Church of Ethiopia confirming the tear gassing on Orthodox followers at St. George Church. If you remember, uh, Addis Ababa Diocese Archbishop gave an ultimatum. He said that in 15 days, government must ensure action against those responsible for, uh, for uh, atrocities against Orthodox followers. Uh, 15 days have not passed. Let's see what government does. But today, government shared details of how many were arrested on Adva Victory Day uh, regarding incident, uh, incidents which happened uh, at Minilik Square. 878 people were arrested on Adva Victory Day. Large number of people arrested. And government says Addis Ababa Police Joint Security and Intelligence Task Force, which held a briefing today, says that 557 out of 878 are not from Addis Ababa. They, they came from other regions. I think mostly would be from Amhara region. Because mostly people from Amhara region, they come to Addis Ababa uh, to celebrate Adva Victory Day at Minlik Square. But government has not shared details of from which regions uh, were there. Government only says that they, uh, 557, uh, were not from Addis Ababa. So large number of arrests uh, is being confirmed by government, but no details shared. Where are these 878 people who were arrested? 
are they still in prison uh, in which prison are they which charges are being submitted against them no details shared by ethiopian federal government i think for watching